Okay, that's pretty solid. I mean the pineapple. I've never had pineapple soda before. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how Life is Good by Future Feet Drake was made. Due to copyright, I couldn't put the full remake in this video, so if you want to see the full finished remake, go to the link in the description. Before I get started, I want to tell you guys a little bit about Melodics. Melodics is an app that teaches producers how to use their MIDI keyboard, MIDI pads, and drums. The app has hundreds of lessons in all different genres, including hip-hop, calypso, boogie, basically anything you could want. The interface is super simple to use. You can browse by genres or difficulty, and then just select whichever lesson you want to play. Each lesson teaches you something new, everything from chords, to melodies to drum patterns here's a lesson to me playing paradiddles with my midi pad i use the desktop version of melodic so all i had to do is plug in my midi and start playing click the link in my description download the melodic app for free enter the promo code wtf-kyle and get 20 percent off monthly and annual subscriptions and now let's get right into it so this song's in two different parts it has drake and then it has future and drake's part is 84 bpm the first sound that we're going to use is this omnisphere sound workstation bell and these are the notes we're going to play without any effects on them So all I'm going to do with this sound is I'm going to turn off this first A part, I'm going to turn off this delay here, and I'm going to go and throw two EQs on it that look like that, throw in a multi-band compressor, raise the mids, and then isotope vinyl just to give it a little bit of wear. The next sound that we're going to use is out of morphine, I'm going to grab this 12 string thing, I guess, guitar, and these are the notes that we're going to play without any effects on them. So this guitar is going to come in on the fifth bar right after those chords. All I'm going to do with that guitar is throw in some reverb, throw in an EQ, isotope vinyl again, add some wear, and sausage fattener because why not add some thickness. Next we have to add a little ambiance, set the mood a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this reflective nylon tremolo guitar and these are the notes that we're going to play with it. And so this guitar is going to come in right when the counter melody low guitar comes in as well and we're going to add some effects on it. Sick, right? Next up is the hi-hats and I'm actually going to layer two hi-hats. They're both from a Lex Luger kit that I have. This one and then this one. And these hats are just going to play eighth notes. I don't really have any effects on them. I have this slight EQ but it really doesn't do much. Next up is the snare and again I'm going to layer my snare. I'm going to grab this trunk snare just like a classic and then a Lex snare, add some thickness to it. And these are the notes that we're going to play. And I don't have any effects on either of those snares. Here's what it sounds like so far. And now the last piece of Drake's part is going to be the 808. I grabbed this Dro 808, Zaytoven 808, I guess. Pretty sick. And this is the pattern we're going to play. Okay, this should be a C, this shouldn't be a C sharp. Um, you can just hear it. So all I'm gonna do with that 808 is I'm gonna EQ out this frequency right here that I didn't really like, throw on Sausage Fattener to add thickness, and then I'm gonna put on a limiter just to compress the peak so it doesn't clip. I'm missing one part of the melody that I couldn't match exactly. I mean, let me know if you notice. Now there's going to be a little pause where there's actually a cut of future speaking during an interview. And since I don't want to get copyrighted, what better way to remake this song than make it myself? It's cool, man. Got red bottoms on. Life is good, you know what I mean? So Future's part of the song is actually going to be 71 BPM in the current double time that we're in, but we're going to up it to 142. And for the first sound of Future's verse, we're actually going to just grab FL keys and we're going to play these notes right here. We're going to reverse these so it's actually going to be E, B, and 1, and then E, C at the fourth bar. And I'm also going to add these in a chord just to add some depth for the song. What we're going to do is we're going to right-click on our pattern here and press Render as Audio Clip and press Start. And that's going to give us a melody like this. All we're going to do is press Reverse and go to Stretch Mode. And then you can place it right into your clip. So this is what that's going to sound like. No effects on it. And staying in that same chord, we're actually just going to play the full chord and reverse that as well. Uh, any effects on it that's what it's going to sound like and then we're going to throw in an eq and reverb and next up for futures part is the hi-hats i'm actually using the same layered hi-hats i use for drake's part only the pattern is a little different and this is the pattern that we're going to play this one is only one of the hi-hats i didn't use both for this but the rest of it's using both 
again, no effects on these, just a little EQ. Next up is the clap. Since we're in 142, we're just gonna use this Luger slap clap and we're gonna play it on three. I don't have any effects in the clap. That's what it sounds like. Paste it right in right here. Next, I'm gonna throw on a counter melody for Future's part. And we're actually just gonna take this log drum sound. I've actually used this in my mixed personalities video as well. I think it's the same sound as that song. And these are the notes that we're gonna play for that. So this is matching the chords that we're playing in the piano. A little switch at the end right there. And then all I'm doing is throwing an EQ to cut out all those highs. Another multi-band compressor, really put it in the background, volumes like that. And the last sound for Futures Verse is going to be the 808. I'm going to grab a different 808 than Trace because Futures 808 lasts a little longer. That's what it sounds like, and these are the notes we're going to play. Didn't get very creative with this one. I'm just going to throw on Sausage Fattener because I put it on everything. Makes it sound thicker. As always, turn this all the way up to make your beat sound extra good. And this is what it's gonna sound like with the transition from Drake to Future's part. It's cool, man. The red bottoms on. Life is good, you know what I mean? Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment which song you want to see me remake next. Make sure to check the link in the description for the full remake. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at WTF Kyle Beats, and I'll see you guys next time.